And if I told you once, that that's once, and I'm not going to tell you twice, salute all my real ones. Yeah. So look, man, I know I haven't been on here in a while. Uh, your boy does have a job outside of this. So if y'all able to press that like button, that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? And we get this channel to take off, I'll be able to post more. You know what I'm saying? So, that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. But right now, we are concentrating on the issue, the topic of the day, the year, and the moment. And that is Godzilla versus King motherfucking Kong. Official trailer, let's roll. This is our only chance. So wait, wait, they saying this this is the only chance. So that means one of them, either Godzilla or King Kong, is wilding, and they are gonna have to send the other one to go holla at you, man. Put elbows, feet, wrists, and goddamn uppercuts all up on the other one that's wilding now to make sure that they get things under control. That's my interpretation. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let's roll. Yo, this chair is squeaking like a. Have, have you ever thought about, yo, think about it like this. Godzilla, God lizard, snakes are reptiles, so technically snakes is lizards. So technically Godzilla is the God snake. That makes him a bitch ass nigga. And you already know when they cut the grass, the snakes are show. Or in this case, when you cut the jungle, the goddamn thick snake is, is going to show. Yo, listen. What I would do if I was in charge, I would put all kinds of lasers and nine millimeters and all kinds of of shanks and and, and machetes and Rambo blades or and, and equip my son Kong with it. Basically, what I'm trying to let y'all know is that I'm rooting for Kong. I don't mess with snakes. I know a lot of snakes back in the hood. And I'm hoping that my, my boy Kong comes through and tombstone, power drives this bitch ass. Godzilla off the top rope and sends him off into the mystery room. Communicate with. I knew that they had a bond. She had nowhere to go, so I made a promise to protect her. And I think that in some way, Kong did the same. Two things, two things, two things. I, I am going to watch this movie, but two things. If you have a fighter jet, you can just leave the ship and like away from... Matter of fact, you could just launch your fighter jets with B-52 bombers, B-22s, from, from a, a base that's on land, fly how the fuck up, and then just nuke this dude, like, case closed. Two, three nukes, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We back home for dinner. Everybody eats fettuccine Alfredo shrimp, and we straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, yo. But I ain't gonna argue with movie logic. Catch this beam. It's Godzilla. These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. I'm of the same opinion. The myths are real. Yeah. Yeah. There was a 
war. And they're the last ones standing. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm built from it. Who bows to who? Nobody gonna stop the Kong. Here we go. Kong bows to no one. Here we go. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why his name is King King. Listen, man, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is make a big ass, the world's biggest shank. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get a, yo, all you gotta do is pull up, pull up out of prison, you know what I'm saying? And holler at a few prisoners to tell them, yo, What's the science behind making the perfect shank? And then poke him up. Get Godzilla the hell up out of here, man. And that's it. But, you know, it is what it is. Y'all already know. I'll catch you on the flip side.